So I just grabbed one of the tofus, put it here, put the sauce, and then got some of those herbs. Let's try it. Oh, this thing is amazing. Mmm. Hey, what's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful, sunny, cold Kyoto, Japan. And today what I want to do is I want to take you to see some historical sites and I want to go eat some lunch. And what I'm thinking for lunch is Japanese hot pot or we just go traditional sushi. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. And where we're at right now is the Kiyamazura Dera Temple. This is a Buddhist temple in eastern Kyoto and it's part of UNESCO. And before we get to the temple, there's this street, and this is like a very touristic spot by the way. So this street is full of souvenir shops. We have some ice cream. What else? We got some restaurants here. I mean, you can get some matcha. So many souvenirs. We got hats, chopsticks, like super like elegant chopsticks. You have some people like dressing up like geishas, right? I mean, that's a big thing here in Kyoto. I think I'm gonna get uh, ice cream. Maybe get an ice cream here. What do you think, guys? Ooh, matcha ice cream, let's see. Oh man, matcha, 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 I love matcha. There's so many things though. The street is packed with people, lots of tourists. I don't know, it doesn't look like there's that many Japanese tourists. It looks more like Chinese tourists, Japanese, American, I mean, big mix here. Yeah, there's a lot of people, huh? a lot, a lot of people. Really cool souvenirs as well. I mean, I like some of these t-shirts, I might buy one. Uh, the Hello Kitty was funny over there. It's a little cold, but it's heating up. Still really early, it's like 10.40 in the morning. But I'm still looking for a good ice cream. I really want a matcha. Mochi. Ah, mochi. I have one more. Okay, please. Oh, Oh my god. Delicious. So I'm gonna get the black sesame with honey. It costs 300 yen. All right, here we go. Oh my god. Mmm. How good this is. Mmm, nice cracker on top. I love the black sesame with honey. It's a little nutty, very sweet. Mmm, <laughs> it is so freaking good. Mmm, I really, really need this. I haven't had ice cream yet here in Japan. Mmm. And look, look what's behind me. UNESCO World Heritage Site. And this ice cream is phenomenal. Black sesame with honey, you have to try this. So now you know where the trash can is. Do not litter in Japan. Do not litter. Now let's go explore this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wow, this temple is gorgeous. So beautiful. I'm loving the colors. Oh, orange, green, some blue in there. Ah, get lots of exercise here. And you gotta be really careful. The ground's a little wet because it just snowed. You should definitely be in really good shape for this temple. Whew, lots and lots and lots of stairs. Oh, I'm getting winded and I'm in good shape. So I'm at, oh my god. Here we go. As you can see, there's a bell here that everybody's ringing and how it works is basically you go up to it, you throw some money in, you ring the bell, and then you make your wish. I, I mean, that's how I think it is because everybody, once they do it, then they do a little prayer and they leave. All right, so this temple is huge. Right here we have an entrance to another piece of the temple and that actually costs 400 yen to go into. And here's a little bit about the temple. It originated in the year 778 when the monk and Chin enshrined an image of the canon on the mountain overlooking the Otawana Taki Falls. Later in 798, the distinguished general Sakunoa no Temura built a Buddha hall here following which the Kamazura Temple came under the official patronage of the Emperor Kanmu. Thank you, so 400? Yes. So it's the main hall, right? Yes, this is the main hall, inside. Two, inside. Two minutes walking from here. Two minutes walking? Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going into the, the main hall. It's 400 yen, 
I asked the guy what it was. He was like, that's the main hall. You have to visit. You just had to go in and I can film, he said. All right, guys, so I got my English brochure here. You know, it's located on a splendid spot called Otowasan in the mountain, okay? So what else do we know about this place? It's uh, the main sanctuary is called the Hondo and it's very unique among temple architecture and even a model of wooden buildings in our country, so in Japan. Especially well known for so-called Hirozo no Butai, the so the floor basically and the railings are firmly supported by long artistic pillars and are refined Hawadaboki roof. Okay, so it's basically cypress barks. Nice, and it's starting to snow like intensely right now. Wow, this is just gorgeous. <gasps> oh, amazing. So much snow. So beautiful. All right, let's go inside the shrine. I need to see this. Oh. That main hall is amazing. As you saw, it is like some of the best woodwork I've ever seen. Some of the floors, the pieces are just one big slab. And over here, we can walk around, just walk outside. It actually stopped snowing, luckily. I don't want to ruin my camera. We're gonna walk around here and see if we can get a better view of the temple and of the hall. Okay, so right here we have the main hall. As you can see, it's covered with this huge tarp. See the wood, wood like piles, right? Huge wooden slabs. And then right across from here, we have epic views looking over Kyoto. Kyoto Tower right there, the tallest structure in Kyoto. I went there this morning and yeah, just beautiful views. The air up here is just amazing. And yeah, I love how it is here in winter. And that's it. We saw the temple. Oh, I'm super happy I came because it was a little bit out of the way. I had to take a, a 1,000 yen taxi ride from my place. I would, it would have taken me like 40 minutes to walk, so I decided, you know, it's easier to take the taxi. And yeah, I mean, wow. Oh man, more views, more epic views. Now the only dilemma is what to eat for lunch. Hot pot, sushi, I don't know, maybe some sake. How about all the above? <laughs> All right, I have to find some place around here. Let me see what is around here. And uh, yeah, I'll update you in a second. Sorry, I'm like extremely tired today. It's been a, it's been a long trip already. Five impactful days, super energetic days. All right, so I've been thinking about where to go for lunch and I really didn't want to leave this area because the city's big and the only way for me to get anywhere will take me around an hour, you know, get either get a taxi or get on a bus or just try to get to the train. So I decided, you know, let me look up what's good around here. And I found a website that shows me the five most popular places and one place looks amazing. It's called Okabeya and they make traditional Japanese food and it's like yotofu, which is boiled tofu, yoba, which is a tofu skin, and tempura of namafu, which is highly refined, weak gluten that is combined with short grain mochi rice flour. We had to walk on that super crazy pedestrian street again. So many people. And the restaurant is in this tiny little alley that cuts off from that street. Where is it? I think this is it. All right, so here we go, Okobeya. Let's see, tofu don. So 1,040, 1,540 for that. Tons of vegetable tempura, Japanese clear soup, rice bowl. So this is a rice bowl dish consisting tofu and, sim and simmered minced chicken. What to get? I'm definitely getting sake. It's only 670, so like seven bucks. Oh man, they have a pretty big menu. It's not just tofu, but they're famous for their tofu. So that's what I'm gonna get, tofu don. Done. And first things first, in every Japanese restaurant, we get to clean our hands. A little wet towel. I'm keeping my hat on because my hair is like crazy. And what is this? It's everything. Yodufo, Sakura. Okay, so I'll go with that. Yodufo Fuji. So 2160, 21 bucks. Perfect. And then I'm also go with the sake. Sake. Cold sake. Cold sake. Cold sake. Yeah. yeah, cold sake. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have a bunch of different things here. We have tofu with wasabi. We have tofu here in the middle, and what she did is she put it on this like little sizzle right here. Just turn it on, and boom. As you can see, it's like steaming. And what you do is you take this out, put it here, and then you put some sauce on, you put some condiments. Here we got the sake, right? I need some right now. A little bit of sake. Oh, nice and cold sake. And they also give you tea. Woo, a little hot. Hot tea. 
Oh, and it's more. <laughs> okay, rice? Rice. Pickles. Pickles? Suchimdo. Suchimdo? Suchimdo. Suchimdo, okay. Uh, vegetable tempura. Vegetable tempura, yes. okay. And just no no sauce, just eat. Just eat? Yes. Okay, and then this? In a minute. Um, a few minutes? Kanpai. Okay guys, so they brought a few more things. They brought like fried tofu on a stick, right? Some rice, some uh, some ginger, and some pickles. And then they also brought some tempura. So let me tell you what this is. This is yodufo, which is a type of warm tofu in hot pot. This is one of the best and typical ways to eat tofu. Suitable time for eating is when the tofu core is just warmed up. That's basically this, right? Everything else is just sides. So I just grabbed one of the tofus, put it here, put the sauce, and then got some of those herbs. Let's try it. Oh, this thing is amazing. Mmm, mmm, so soft. Mmm, I like the little, it's like a little soy sauce. Mmm, where's herbs? I think there's uh, some onion in here. Mmm, very nice. Oh, very light. Has like a spongy consistency. So I'm gonna grab one again. Oh, I can't pick it up by that, no way. So we gotta bite this. Ah, boom. Wow. Okay, so put it here, all right. Put some of that soy sauce. Bam, right there. Get some of those herbs. Mmm, that was way too hot. <laughs> I need like socket just to go down. Oh, that was good, really nice. Mmm, next I'm gonna have some of this. I think this is like a pickle. I don't know if it's ginger, but, hmm, it's like pickles. They're very nice to it. They said this was pickle, but it looks like kelp. It's almost like a pickle seaweed or something. Hmm, that was pretty good. Now the best thing to do, because I just noticed how hot that thing was, is just get some of it. All right, I'm gonna get two of these, just take them out. Just let them sit there for a bit. Probably put some of the soy sauce drizzle on top right there. Leave it alone. I don't want to burn my mouth again. Hmm, next up we got some tempura. She said not to put this with sauces at all. So this is like, here's the eggplant tempura. Hmm, what I like about this tempura is that it's not like too deep fried. Hmm, light batter. And then right here we have like shishito peppers. Very nice. I'm just gonna eat all these tempuras right now. Mmm, oh, sweet potato. Mm, really good. So here we have like tofu on a stick with some like marmalade. I don't know exactly what that is. Okay, here we go. Mmm, tofu is nice. And, like thick, not too soft. Mmm, but the marmalade, it's almost like a cheesy marmalade. I love that one. So we get some more of this stuff. Oh yeah, it's so good. It's still really hot, like too hot. Mmm. Mmm. Next up, I'm gonna try this wasabi tofu. Let's take it up really fast. This tofu is different, it's sweeter, with a little bit of spice. I didn't know there was that much of a world in tofu, right? And here, what is this? We have a potato. This tofu looks a little different, it has more like a brownish tint to it. And on top, we have this like thing that's like pinkish. It looks good. Mmm, this one was nice and thick, very sweet. I felt like there was some garlic, but it wasn't like garlic because I've had garlic tofu before and it's like way too much garlic. That was really good. There's like a pickle right here. Nice shrimp right here. Got the head, got the tail. Gotta take it apart now. Take it off, break it apart, take off the tail. Mm, very succulent. And I haven't even tried the rice. I'm gonna put some sauce in the rice. Soy sauce all day. Nice sticky rice. Oh, but I need some more wasabi. So the best thing to do is just get all the soy sauce remaining from the tofu bowl, mix it in. There's actually a little bit of tofu in here. Mm. So I just put all the tofu here because I think it's getting way too hot. Look at all that. Oh, it looks so good. It's light. It's it's a little bland, but that's why you put some of this on it, right? Put a lot of that. And then I'm just gonna dump all this on it. Sake, sake, sake. Oh, this bottle is like nothing. It's like air. I really love sake guys, like, and they give it to you in these small bottles, so this is nothing, like, I can drink this and feel nothing. 
Now it's like it's basically bathing in soy sauce. Oh yeah, way better like that. Mm. Okay, it's not too hot now. It's been sitting there for a while. If you guys don't like tofu, I'm sure you still like this one because it's so freaking phenomenal. Mm. I thought I wouldn't get full off tofu, but pretty damn full. It literally wasn't a lot of food, but I'm ridiculously full. I feel like people in Japan drink more tea than they drink water. They never offer water. Wow, that tofu was really filling. Man, I feel good though. It was uh, 28 30 so like $28 to eat that ginormous meal. And that also came with sake. And yeah, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look for some Kyoto coffee. They say it's very different from any other coffee in Japan. So let's see. So this street I'm walking down is just basically souvenir shops. They have a lot of cool stuff. They have some like Japanese marmalade, but most of it's just souvenir shops. They have really nice stuff that, I mean, I would buy for my kids, but just way too expensive. T-shirts for like 3,000. So basically what I spent for lunch on a T-shirt, I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather buy them something that's like more Japanese than a T-shirt that just says something in Japanese. Wow, this is like a really nice restaurant. And one thing I really love about this area is that all these houses are like traditional houses. Obviously, no one lives there anymore because it's now a commercial area. But, I mean, it just looks so authentic and so like real Japan. More like Imperial Japan over like the modern Japan. Yeah, man, there's so many souvenir shops. This is like ridiculous. After walking around for a bit, I found this coffee shop called Garakuta. And they make like awesome coffee. They have slow drip coffee, which is where I got. Straight black, no sugar, no milk. They also roast coffee here, so roast the beans. And yeah, nice cozy spot. Very warm right now in here. It's a little toasty. I just watched how she poured the hot water into the, the powder of the coffee. And then it just like dripped down into this cup. Mmm. Ooh, hot, hot. <laughs> nice strong coffee. Black as night. Mm, delicious, this is exactly what I need right now to wake up. Yeah, so we explored the temple. We ate a delicious tofu feast. I mean, so many different tofu things. Tofu hot pot, tofu wasabi, a tofu skewers with like some marmalade, and then the rice, tempura. I mean, everything overall, that was one of the best meals I've had in Japan. It was very different. I mean, I just love tofu. I'm a big tofu guy. And yeah, I mean, it was such an experience. And this area is beautiful, as you saw. I mean, lots of old houses. Very commercial, obviously, because it's, it has a temple, so that's like the main attraction. Everybody comes here, they buy stuff, they buy food on the street, they go see the temple, they go to a restaurant, they have some coffee, and that's basically what they do here, you know? So guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Japan. Peace.